computer, there we go. Okay, so Radiant Leaders Mastermind Circle, the recording started late, so I am going to uh, go through this first one real quick. Um, if you're watching the replay of this, please read this and pause and really reflect on what this means for you in your life. It's a super powerful um, statement that my male accountability partner shared with me recently and, and really set the tone for the impact that we have every moment of our lives with the people that we interact with, with our business vision, the things that we're bringing to the world. Okay, so what are, we, what are we needing as female entrepreneurs? I started talking about confidence, being confident in our, the worth, our worth, and the value that we are providing, being confident in our prices, in the knowledge that we have, in what we are offering from products and services, and also being confident in our ability to achieve what it is we are desiring to achieve. Has, that, has that anyone ever experience that at all. I know I have, right? Mm -hmm. The next thing that we often need and we continue to need is clarity. Clarity around the vision, right? What clarity around the calling, around the project. Certainly a lot of clarity as we go through to completion of what are the next steps? What's gonna get me there to launching this thing, to bringing this thing to life? And then we need clarity around business tools and business strategies. I'm not sure if you're like you, like me, but I have my, my inbox is bombarded. Facebook, Instagram is bombarded with all these business experts. And there's so many ways we can go about growing our business. There's some foundational things that apply to all of them, but it can get overwhelming. So how do we each individually, you know, get to clarity on that? The next one is consistency. Consistency in our actions on a daily basis. Consistency in having somebody to hold us accountable, to hold, even to walk with us and hold our hand as we move toward our goals. And one thing that uh, is important to me, I believe, and, and something I work with my clients on, is consistency in reflection, self-reflection, What's working well? What's not working well? What did, how did I show up this time? Um, that's such an important piece because there's so many nuggets of wisdom and reflection that if we're just doing the tasks, we're missing out. So that's one piece I'd love to bring into this mastermind. And then consistency of celebration. Again, action-oriented, you know, successful achievement-oriented women can check the list and then feel flat afterwards. So I have found for myself, and again, so many of my clients, when we pause to acknowledge and really look at where was I a month ago? Where was I six months ago? You know, how far have I come in this particular project? And we celebrate that, it fuels us and it just helps create that wave or that extra momentum we need for the next phase of the journey. So that is something every, the mastermind I am in now, the beginning, it's like, what's one or two things that you want to acknowledge and celebrate? And we pause to really, you know, applaud that person for what they've accomplished. Um, and then the fourth piece, what are you needing? So many women don't have community. Now we have a lot of girlfriends that, you know, um, most women have, have a lot of people in their lives, but I'm talking about a special kind of community. And, and that's what I want to create with this group. And a big piece of it is that it's unbiased support. So I don't, I, I experienced many years of, you know, a, my dad in particular telling me what I should be doing with my life. Or when I was married, I got some very clear direction on what I should or shouldn't be doing for my spouse. And this is about giving support and encouragement, but it's not us telling each other what to do. It's giving suggestions and, and supporting, um, letting each person kind of stand in their own right uh, and, and honor the journey that they are desiring to go on. Not being influenced like you should be like me even type of thing. Um, also community that is like-minded, right? Growth oriented, um, really taking ownership of our lives and, and our thoughts and our ideas and, and to bring those things to life. 
And also, and the last thing, um, community that is there for you. Like we have your back. We're gonna walk with you. We're gonna support you. We'll pick you up if you fall. But you're not just a number. And I will say I've been a lot in part of a lot of different programs and the bigger one, they're great from some perspectives, but the thing that I want to create here is, is it's a small group and you're not going to get lost in the crowd. Like you're going to, you're going to have an equal voice with everybody else to, um, to be part of this community. So those are, those are core things as I've looked and talked to women that I see across the board, women are needing. So what solution do I have then to meet those needs? I'm calling it the Radiant Leaders Mastermind Circle. And how can it really support you in your success? So I'm gonna dive into that just with a couple little bullets here. I'm gonna start with Radiant Leaders. Why did I say Radiant Leaders? I'm all about radiance and I believe when women are authentic, we become radiant. So this is who we are at our most authentic, grounded and true state. For many of us, it's about reawakening this radiant part of ourselves. And again, I know for myself, when I got stuck for many years in the do, 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 and I was living just from the shoulders up in my head, totally disconnected from my deeper parts of myself, um, I couldn't be radiant. So I had that reawakening, which has been amazing. And um, I wanna support women on whatever, whatever place they're at. The next piece and the core piece is that it's a mastermind. So masterminding is about two or more, in this case, it will be up to eight women coming together to work toward a, a goal or a vision. And so each woman has their particular goal, their vision they're working toward, but um, we all hold that space we all hold that energy for them to create that. So it's a cumulative effect. And circle, why circle? Circle, again, women's circles are very popular and I, I'm, I'm not doing this to get on that bandwagon of yet another circle, but what it represents to me is that it's an unending, it's seamless, there's this ongoing energy and life to it. And that is something where I'm at and, and where I am as a business leader, and a coach and a mentor is to really create something that has a lot of positive energy that all of a sudden it just creates a life of its own. So just a quick recap on that mastermind. So when you, um, when we, people come together in a group and we hold the vision for each of each other in the group, there is a synergy that happens and this combined energy really starts to attract your, your next steps, people, opportunities to you. And, you know, I, I definitely have started to get more into the energetic understanding of things from our thoughts, our words, um, where are we vibrating at? And um, I will bring little sparkles of that into, into our meetings. Um, um, so that's a cool thing. Okay. And the intentions and outcomes. So again, I see this being really focused. And the, the first thing is really supporting you where you want to go in your business with your vision and also your impact as a leader. Whether you see yourself as a change maker, an influencer, a creative talent, a healer, a guide, a teacher, or some combination thereof. It's, it's really from that focus of your business. Um, and then also, again, from the other side, to provide accountability, encouragement, inspiration, recommendations, right? It's, this, is not gonna, this is not a, uh, like a girl circle where we're going to sit and chit chat about fun stuff. It's, it's focused. You've got, you know, uh, I'll talk about the structure in a minute, but, but each person is responsible to say what they are needing and we provide answers that we have and um, next steps come out of that for um, what, you, what you need to do. And again, really orienting toward achieving those goals. Um, it's also to support you with the inner work 
and reclaiming your personal powers while you take those outer actions. So that really speaks a lot to the owning your value and your worth and that confidence side of things, right? So there's, I know for myself, there's a ton of old conditioned stories as I've been on my journey the last 10 years that have bubbled up for me to, to look at. And a lot of times these things come as a problem, a, uh, a trigger, um, an overwhelm, but I've realized mm -hmm. I'm being called to let go of something or to, to show up in a new way. And so that can absolutely become a part of the journey together to the, to the degree that you desire to do that. So um, I also want it to be safe and fun and empowering and encouraging um, and, you know, have it be, I can get really serious. <laughs> but have it be lighthearted. Um, the group that I'm in, the other mastermind that I um, am a part of, we start every working session with just a little grounding and centering meditation. And I definitely um, plan to do something like that to help everybody really come into a space of presence and to be able to have their feet on the ground and their energy grounded to, to bring forth those most important things um, during, during the call. And then lastly, and this is kind of one of my things, it might not be something you're looking for, but I, my, one of my purposes is to support you, um, to support women, to be their most authentic selves, to live a fulfilling life. And I call that a radiant life turned on. So that's the core of what I see as intentions and outcomes. So... A, just a little bit about me, and you, you've already heard kind of where I'm at. But I say I talked about kind of my mission or who I who I work with, and my so my passion right now is truly for women to honor what those callings are. Whether you feel it as a soul calling, or for some women it's just a yearning. For other women, it's just it's like an emptiness and like I, I, this thing that is finally nagging so hard. I just have to bring it to life. So um, my commitment is to support any woman that is standing up and saying, I'm ready. Who wants to walk with me? I, I'm ready to walk with her. Um, I, know, I know what that feels like to not have the support. So to, for me to be able to provide the support just lights mm -hmm. me up. And um, that is, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I am about at this point in my life. And then, let's see, so the format. How I've laid it out is that, again, small group, um, a max of eight women per circle, because that allows you to really have time. Each person has, depending on how many people are there, at least 11 minutes to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if, if not everybody's attending. So it'll be two 90-minute sessions per month Again, structured, structured agenda, I keep time. There, there's a, there'll be a gentle signal on when your time is up. And we normally give a, a several minute warning so then you can get feedback on your um, topic and get the input that you're there to look for. Um, and, but then the key thing and the thing that's worked out so well um, that is gonna absolutely be a cornerstone of this is that we do email support in between times. So with only eight people, we've had people write copy for their website. They're putting a new free gift together for their, for their website. Um, maybe they've got, um, done a flyer or they've done some other kind of, oh, they did it. Some women were starting to do videos and they're like, oh, I just don't think I'm doing this very well. Can you please give me some critique on my video? So there's a lot of things or someone's doing a Facebook Live and they would like a few warm bodies there and whoever's available to be there and support. So it's things like that that are in the in-between time that really help to keep um, you supported beyond just the, the 90 minute meeting. When, um, Christine, if you don't mind me um, interrupting, when sure. do you have a set time for those, for those meetings? I don't, so I think pro probably what I would do is, um, whoever is is you know totally interested i would say please you know provide your best times i'll show it on the next slide my um my intention would be i love mondays and tuesdays personally because it's it's the beginning of the week and i but it's your meet it's 
I'm facilitating it for you guys. So it's, it's whatever would be um, working with people's schedule. And I'm open doing it during the day or the evening, um, depending on what people's um, availability would be. So that, but I have not, I, I debated if I just say it's this time and date. Um, but I think because it's eight people, I want to be able to find something that's going to work consistently. Um, the one I'm in right now, we meet Mondays from 10 to 1130 to, um, twice a week, and, uh, twice a month. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's clockwork, right? So I know I don't schedule appointments then unless there's some emergency. Um, and everybody pretty much does the same thing unless there's um, some kind of client thing and they just can't do it at another time. So, um, but yeah, they, that's a great question. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I will record the sessions because sometimes uh, you want to go back and watch something or what did I say or we talked about this certain thing um, that can be helpful. I'm not doing that now in the other group, but I think it would be helpful here. And I'll save it to my, in my app. I'll set up a private member area for everybody that you can go access the recordings. So I am doing, I want to I'll, like sh also share this because I, you know, in, in full transparency, the group I'm in right now, I launched in April and we've been, it's all local gals here um, that, I, that have been part of my business circle for quite a while. And um, it's been phenomenal, which is really what's inspired me to connect with more women. So I'm calling this kind of a, a beta launch of my longer program. Um, and you'll see the time frame that I'm that I'm looking at uh, on the next page. So I'm adding some some what I'm calling some launch bonuses or add-ons, which will include a private one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me per quarter. Um, it will also include, and I think I think this is a great feature, but it's you know you may not, you may not be as excited about it as me. I do interviews with women, um, and I have a Facebook page, business right, which is no big deal. But I have a YouTube channel. I have an app directory, um, which is uh, you know an app on my phone, and. Um, I think I have almost 300 downloads of the app right now. So my plan is to get to like 10,000. And then there's a, in the directory, it's here's other women that are resources that I work with that I encourage people to check out. So it can, can um, get to you that way uh, or get you additional exposure. And then also it is, um, I, I want to, and this is a, a key thing, put together a one day, um, whether it's virtual or in-person retreat, which will be, um, I'd like to do it in early December so we can come together and just kind of gel as a group and you can talk about, here's the things I did accomplish, here's what I want to celebrate, whether it was uh, an external accomplishment or an internal shift things, and then to talk about some plans and visions for 2021 to start putting some meat to where you want to go in 2021. Um, and then the last thing is um, I am, I haven't figured out the dollar amount yet, but um, it will definitely be, um, it will definitely be 10%, 10 it might be more, I have to figure this out, uh, referral bonus. If there's another woman in your network that you feel this would be a great fit for, and she, uh, you refer her to me and she ends up joining, then you will make a, um, a referral bonus um, for adding somebody in. Or somebody coaching that signs up for a six month um, program or longer, I will do the same thing, okay? So that can be some Christmas money or whatever little, little stuff. So, the question is, are you ready to take the next step toward your future? I love this picture. I'm assuming everyone inside is saying yes. So here's, so let me minimize this. So here is the invitation. Again, top things, receiving the guidance that you need to achieve your business and your life goals, to be supported by other like-minded women, to fo the focus is on bringing more of you and your visions to life so you make the impact you desire. Here's the, here's the meat of it. The, I'm looking to launch this the week of November 16th, which I know is really soon, but there's still time for two meetings in November 
which is, a, I think, a great time to get started. I would love to launch this as a year program because I know these, this, all of this takes time. However, if, if somebody really is not ready to make a 12 month commitment, I am offering a six month, I call it a season option, and then you can renew for the second six months. The key with being with, a, with the same group of women, there's a lot of um, support and camaraderie and, and um, relationship that starts to develop. So it's nice to have the continuity for that. So I, I'm going to, I didn't put some of the normal, like when, when all these coaches pitch their thing, I will tell you, they say, here's the value. And then this, this bonus is this value. So you get something that adds up to like, you know, a hundred thousand dollars and they sell it for $20,000. I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a game because they do have a lot of great bonuses, but I'm, I'm just bringing it to you straight this type of program. And I had a, a, another woman look at it today and she said, this is like a, at least $15,000, $20,000 program. Like I'm like, I'm not even, I don't go there. Eventually this may be, <laughs> may be there, but for now, because it's my beta launch, this is, this is what feels right for me as an investment for, to offer to you. So it's forty nine ninety five. If you paid in full, you can, um, if you do the six month option, it's $27.95. I mean, $27.45. Um, and with either one of those, if a pay in full um, is not something that would work for you right now, I'm happy to discuss different payment options. I will say, because there's the, there is, it will be more than just taking that number and dividing by six because there's a whole administrative side of things that happens. So um, you just, just kind of don't be surprised if, um, if that, you know, when, if we talk about that. So that is the core piece of it. And what I would like to do then is open it up for question and answer. And if this is something that you know, like right now, I absolutely am interested in this. Um, I can send you an application. I'm not doing any, you know, taking sales, doing sales tonight or taking any payments tonight. I want to make sure we have a chance to sit down and answer any questions, um, talk about some of your initial um, goals and ideas. And then um, we, with the one-on-one -on -one call, we can finalize 